So at the end of the day, how do we uh, encourage people to actually deal with the things that they can't change? Look, I think sometimes we become too rigid on the things that we can't change. Um, what about doing something else? <laughs> you know, if you can't travel a certain road because, and you used to travel down that road, but now there's works, what do you do? Do you just sit in the car and cry? Because you, no, you just <laughs> turn around and find, find some other way. way, you know, put a GPS on. And, and we do see that happen in a lot of workplaces. We see people that shouldn't be in that work. It's the wrong job, <laughs> period. It's got nothing to do with the manager. It's got nothing to do with the organization. They're simply in the wrong job and they won't get out because nobody's helped them see that, you know. Uh, I've seen artists that should be accountants and accountants that should be artists and they won't be happy until that happens. So yes, it's important as individuals in, in this environment of change that we learn to change quickly too. So how better are we getting at adapting to the conditions in the workplace? I think we've got a little way to go. As I'm, human beings struggle with change. It's, it's built in as part of our survival mechanism um, that anything different could threaten my survival. So if everything just stays the same, I'll be okay. Um, so, but the world is changing, as you said earlier, the it, technology, the globalization, the way everything's changing, we do need to get better at changing with it for our, for our own well-being. And that may mean as Peter said, leaving and getting something new, but it may be changing the way we approach it and changing how we think about it and changing our perspective on things as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian.